Hey there, how y'all doing? Um, this is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And, well, maybe I'm a addled lizard brain, you know, one of those Trump supporters. That freaking liberals, they just can't make up enough names and they just keep losing. Freaking liberals anyway, but I got a good feeling that Trump is going to take this election. But anyway... I'm not here really to talk much about politics except go vote. You know, this uh, lizard brain right here, deplorable, freaking what else did they call us, you know. Go vote. But tonight, in honor of our 45th president, I figure I would go over my Ruger New Vaquero 45 Colt. Why not? I picked this up used from a, a soldier. And so we're gonna verify this baby's empty. And of course with this, the new Vaquero, you don't have to pull back the uh, hammer to check it out. You just open up the feed gate and check it out. And there it is. Look at that, sounds nice. Okay. So anyway, this is a 45 Colt. And it's a pretty guy, it's got the the fake pearl handles and really nice stainless. Um, it's not a bad shooter. I was really surprised when I really haven't paid much attention to, you know, the 45 Colt cartridge till my son started talking about it. And uh, gosh, they can load that sucker up just real close to 44 Magnum level. And uh, this thing will hold some of those, you know, it, it's a good shooter. Uh, of course, it's a single action, old six gun of the West. Um, it's got just such a lovely trigger. I'd say that trigger is two pounds, maybe. Yeah, maybe three, maybe two and a half. It's just so sweet. Of course, you don't have much in the way of sights. They're fixed sights. Um, just a big front post and then the, the thing hard to the top of the back strap there, the top strap, um, really nice gun. Um, you know, what's expensive? Well, these are expensive. You know, I picked this one up for 450 bucks from a, from a soldier, but these things are going for six, $700. So I know some guys do some competition with these six guns. I'm not into that competition stuff, but uh, the rigging, you know, the leather gear is $150. You get a good, a good rig. Um, and anyway, I just got this for kind of a, an interesting thing to my collection. I've got a few six guns. I'll probably bring them some, some of them out to, Compare them with this. I've got a uh, 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 Virginia Dragoon 44. I'll bring it out and compare it uh, with this, along with you know my Smith 460. Uh, one of these days, I'll do a review on that. But uh, hey, you know, even if Noodle Butt gets in as president, maybe they won't come after my 45. Ruger New Vaquero. So anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, do a little breakdown on this. Um, do the nuts and bolts on it. It'll probably be a shorter video because, you know, this is a, a pretty basic pistol. And, uh, but it's a pretty one, isn't it? Um, but we'll do the nuts and bolts. I, I did take it to the range last week and I've got that video. I'll show you how that goes. And, uh, and then we'll do a wrap up. So, Lizard Brain signing out from deep in the heart of Texas. All right, we got a Ruger New Vaquero 45 Colt.
Yeah, here's my Ruger new Vaquero. Just had her out to the range. And we'll verify it's empty. Yep, it's empty. So it's just a standard single six breakdown. You push that in, pull the pin out, undo the loading gate, rotate the cylinder right out of there. There you go. And I'll spray her down with some ballast off. Pretty quick breakdown. All right, so here we are. We'll take a a closer look at this Ruger new Vaquero and give you some specs. Uh, of course, it's a 45 Colt, sometimes known as the Long Colt, but I just call it a 45 Colt. And uh, of course, it has a capacity of six. Uh, bear length is 4.62 inches. Um, overall length is 10 and a quarter inches. Now, the weight is 40 ounces empty. Of course, it's a high gloss stainless. It almost looks nickel. And these grips are fake pearl grip handles. Of course, it did come with some black plastic ones, and I changed those. The MSRP for one of these is around $800. So I'd say I got a pretty good deal this used one you see it's got a few scratches and stuff on it but that's not too too bad the bore's in really good shape um, now to compare it to say another type of a six gun there is a virginia dragoon and it is a 44 magnum i'll be doing a review on it here in the next couple of weeks uh, it's a much bigger pistol than the, the new Vaquero. Um, see both these guys. Um, pretty nice. Now, <clears throat> I like my six guns, but I'll tell you one thing that I don't particularly like about revolvers is cleaning them. I'd much rather clean a a nice automatic. <laughs> ah, it's the, the cylinder that's just always a pain. I mean, you look at the end of these cylinders, and you know, I've got a method to clean them up. They look pretty good. I could probably do a little bit better on them. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just get a little Hops number nine and a Scotch Bright, one of them green uh, Scotch Bright pads. and just kind of lightly scrub on it and that black crap comes right off and so uh, this s44 was just shooting some dirty reloads last time i took it out but you can see the cleaning of it it just makes it real nice now of course to unload it you got to flip down the the load gate and i'm trying to deal this with the hand here and of course new Vaquero all you do is flip the load gate and then it's ready to you know rotate you don't have to pull the trigger back and then when you line that up you just use your unloading lever and push that down and away it goes I'll show you when I hook this thing right up to uh, the camera up so I'm not trying to hold on to it and so let's go ahead and go to that end. Uh, let's see, is there other, some other uh, stats I wanted to give you on this thing? No, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, it's a basic gun. Um, well, let's go ahead and do a wrap on this thing. And, and there. All right, so uh, here's a freaking lizard brain chunk coming to you. To finish up this video on the Ruger Nubacaro 45, um, it just seems like every day the freaking Democrats come up with some kind of new name to call us. And I'm thinking that's all they got is names to call because their policies suck. I mean, there's Joe Biden over there saying he's going to totally get rid of fossil fuel and change it over to clean renewable energy. How's that working out for California, huh? Now, you can't get rid of it all. The infrastructure is not set up to be able to change that. But I'm, 
going off. Let's talk about a pistol here. Um, kind of do a little wrap on this. If you have a chance to get one of these, I would. I mean, this is nothing that I'm going to be protecting my family with. Um, it's just a fun gun to go out and shoot at the range. Eventually, we hope to be moving up towards the uh, Idaho Washington border area. And then maybe, you know, this could be a, a camp gun, something like that. Um, but it's a pretty gun. It's a fun gun to shoot. Uh, I guess if you were in a cowboy competition, you could be doing stuff like this with this particular pistol. Uh, I would probably get some different grips because these have very right angle corners and they can cut into you. They're pretty, but usability, not really. I'd get some different grips, but I don't shoot this maybe once or twice a year and that's it. Maybe put 25 rounds through it because I'm bitching that I got to come in here and clean this six gun because I don't like cleaning six guns. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, it, it just something in me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, if you have a chance to get one of these, of course, I'm going to tell you, show you how you, you unload this. You uh, put this down and then press the unload lever and it's just going to push them dudes right out of there. And uh, you can feel the quality of the build of this pistol. So this is not junk and I guess MSRP of over $800. Um, you know, they're not going to be selling the jump. Now, I just got a, a lucky deal to pick this up for about half that. And so uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up as a practical gun, maybe not, but uh, as a fun shooter. Uh, sure, why not? You know, it's a, it's a good, fun shooting gun. It's fairly accurate, and you can play around with that 45 Colt cartridge all day long. And so. Um, you know, this is a, you know, a lizard brain chump coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And as always, God bless Texas. God bless the United States and long live the Republic. Go vote, people. Go vote.